Tony Baloney, written by Pam Munoz Ryan, illustrated by Edwin Fotheringham. Tony Baloney is a macaroni penguin. He loves fish tacos with Parmesan cheese, little green walrus guys, his stuffed animal buddy dandelion, and anything with wheels. Vroom, vroom. Tony Baloney does not love trouble, but trouble loves him. In his family, Tony Baloney is smack in the middle of the brood. Dandelion makes sure that Tony Baloney does not get lost in the crowd. If he can help it, Tony Baloney stays away from the bothersome babies Baloney because they are so exasperating. When it is absolutely necessary, or most of the time, Tony Baloney must play with Big Sister Baloney. He always has to be the kitty. When do I get to be the boss of the world? Asks Tony Baloney. Big Sister Baloney gives him the look. Meow, says Tony Baloney. Sometimes when Tony Baloney is tired of Big Sister Baloney and exasperated by the bothersome baby's baloney, Dandelion behaves badly. After Dandelion runs amok, Tony Baloney dashes to his room, stuffs all of his important things into his duffel, and makes a fast getaway to his hidey space. Eventually, Mama and Papa stop by for a little chat. After they leave, Tony Baloney tells Dandelion all of his woes. As usual, Dandelion is extremely understanding. And then Big Sister said I could not come to her tea party. And the bothersome babies chewed off the hands of maybe a hundred, or just one, of my little green walrus guys. And Mama and Papa said they love me very much, but I need to think about our behavior and using our words and saying we're sorry. Oh, and we have to mean it, too. I guess we should try a little harder to behave, says Tony Baloney. I suppose, says Dandelion. We have to apologize nicely. I'm not feeling nicely in my heart. How long does it take for nicely to creep in? Maybe never, or in a little while. Just wait for it. You're my very best buddy in the whole whitey world. I know, I know. Don't get all mushy on me. After Tony Baloney has been in the Heidi space for maybe a year or 20 minutes, he feels a teensy bit lonely, and Dandelion feels a teensy bit like apologizing. When Tony Baloney smells fish tacos, Dandelion feels even more like apologizing. Uh, Dandelion says he's sorry. I accept Dandelion's apology. Big Sister Baloney hugs. But what do you have to say for yourself, Tony Baloney? She gives him the look. Tony Baloney says nicely, I brought Parmesan cheese. For maybe an hour or five minutes, Big Sister Baloney allows Tony Baloney to be boss of the world. Tony Baloney tells the bothersome babies Baloney that they must be the kitties. The babies are surprisingly good at meowing. Tony Baloney, you don't ever have to be the kitty again, says Big Sister Baloney. Never, says Tony Baloney. Never, says Big Sister Baloney. And she keeps her word. Woof, woof. 
the 